On today's video, I show you how to make a last minute gift that's sure to impress just about anybody. Let's get started. This YouTube channel is cross supported with Solid State Radio, SolidStateRadio.net, your local alternative. Alright, so first what you want to do is you want to grab a couple spoons, um, doesn't really matter what kind, uh, any old serving spoon will work. Although the bigger the spoon, the more resin you will need, so just keep that as a rule of thumb in the back of your mind. And take like a sharpie and you want to give yourself some room on the handle part, and I'll show you why in a minute. But give yourself, mm, I'd say an inch or so, maybe a little more, a little less, and just mark it. You'll need this in a minute. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and cut on those lines to make the hook for where you put your string or your cording through for the pendant itself. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this right quick and I'll be right back. Alright, now I'm back. Now you can use an angle grinder, a Dremel, bolt cutters, anything you can to cut the handles off. It's just a lot easier that way. Um, some of these you can actually get so wussy that you can actually just like wiggle them back and forth and break off. But you might not get as clean of an uh, edge as this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to so take this the part, end of it. We're going to use a uh, torch to heat this up and bend. But first you want to hold it with a pair of pliers just because, well, the whole thing's going to get hot. And... I recommend map gas for this. You don't have to use map gas. Map gas just burns a little bit hotter and is a little bit easier to work with. And make sure that's on. Okay. And you just want to heat the top of this as evenly as possible. You want to get it a nice red color. Hopefully. There we go. That's working pretty darn quick there. Awesome. Okay, then you're going to take a pair of needle nose and you're just going to twist it. You might have to heat it up a time or two depending on how cold it is and what you're dealing with. But you want to make sure that you get this loop closed as, or as close to close as you possibly can. That way the cording or the chain or whatever you're, <coughs> excuse me, Putting this on won't slip out. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and dip this in water. The reason I dip that in water is to cool it instantly. You're not going to hurt the, the spoon, so don't worry about that. And now I can hold it even though even 30 seconds ago it was hot. So, since it's cold out here and the next part involves resin, let's go inside. So for this, we're going to use a two part epoxy resin. We're going to use Envirotex. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent one. It's a little bit of a cheaper kind. It's still expensive if you don't have a coupon at like Michael's or something, but that's just how the nature of the beast is. And you want to take the two parts and you want to make sure you get the same amount in each cup because if it's off by any, it won't set up and it won't cure. For this particular part, I have uh, my sister helping me stir and mix the resin. You want to mix both parts of it for about two minutes you want to make sure you get all the air out of it you possibly can, and you want to scrape the sides of the container as well. Then you want to take both parts of your epoxy and add them together, and like I said before, you want to stir as much as you can for about two minutes, and you want to scrape the sides and try and get all the air bubbles out. Now I wanted to add a quick note here. When you're adding the trinkets to the base of the spoon, you want to make sure that it's not going to stick up above the resin or above the sides because if it sticks out, it just won't look right. Now when you go to pour the resin into your pendant, you want to make sure that you get it evenly without trying to slop it over the edge because once it hardens, it's kind of tough to clean up and whatnot. So just take your time with this part and the more time you take during this, the better the results will be. You might even have to like shift it a little bit if it's on a coaster or something just to keep it leveled out. And you will get air bubbles no matter what you do. So what you can do is you can take a torch like you see here 
or you can take a grill lighter or even a uh, heat gun and just lightly go over the top of it. You don't have to put the flame into the resin, just enough to get the resin a little warmer and the bubbles should start popping. And you want to do this once every 40, 45 minutes or so for the first couple hours just to get all the air bubbles out. But after that, just let it set overnight and you should be good. I think these turned out pretty decent. So with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap this project up. So that's all for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please click like down below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And in between videos, you can find us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and keep creating.